Hey, I'm Brendan Bailey and I'm making my own video game. And in last video I said I do not make these devlog videos often enough. And uh, it has not been a full month. And I'm making devlog video number four. So here we go. Uh, first things first, and I'm a little uh, embarrassed to admit this, but I am finally using a controller to play the game. So I've hooked up this Xbox controller, configured it, got it working in Unity, figured that whole thing out, and uh, it's great. Completely changes how I can, you know, feel the control of the game. Um, <clears throat> so, September has been a good month so far. So I've been working on some stuff that probably should have been done like earlier in the process, but basically I'm focusing on uh, two methods of attacking. So Nixie will have two attacks in the game. Uh, the first is the shooting attack, which I already had implemented, uh, but the second is a melee slash attack. Now I've got some dev sprites for this slash attack. I'm gonna do some longer um, <clears throat> animations, like this duck animation attack is obviously kind of glitchy, but I can attack, I can do slashing attack in uh, four directions right now, and it is functional, so I can attack the enemies. <clears throat> So this is working pretty nicely, and I'm gonna add probably a little knockback uh, feature to the enemies so that the enemies get pushed away a little bit uh, when you hit them. But other than that, it's working pretty good. I do have a, a pogo effect, so like if you attack the enemies from the top, you can bounce on them. Uh, as you just saw, Nixie also takes damage from the enemies with a, an animation and a little knockback, so something similar to that for the enemies when they get hit, I think would be cool. Uh, I've also been working on some very preliminary effects, as you can see, like the little particle explosions that appear when the enemy gets hit or when they explode. Um, also using that with the gun, uh, and... Yeah, I'm kind of getting the hang of doing some little simple effects. Now, uh, I spent some time dealing with the shooting, going back to the shooting beforehand. I could shoot in four directions, but there weren't animations for the four directions. But now, I actually have separate animations for shooting up, shooting left and right, obviously. Uh, ducking and shooting at the same time has its own animation, and also shooting down. If you're in the air, you can shoot down, and that has its own animation as well. Now, I still need to do a few more animations. If you shoot in the air right now, it just uses the standing shoot animation. Uh, same thing for shooting up in the air. I'm going to make some little animation variations to cover those. Um, so, But other than that, once I do those two, I think they'll all be covered. For the shooting. I was originally going to do eight-way directional shooting, but I decided I don't want Nixie to be uh, a shooting game. I want it to be more uh, more emphasis on the, uh, the melee attack uh, while you're playing. The shooting will be kind of like a limited ammo special attack that you can do in certain situations, but it's not going to be the primary. It's not going to be like Metroid where, you know, your primary weapon is a gun. The primary weapon will be the slash attack. The gun will be limited. Uh, there will be upgrades for the gun. I, I, I think I might do kind of like a like a, a missile, super missile, like super super missile type system. And uh, each upgrade of the gun, like the higher uh, uh, tiers of the gun, will just pull more uh, uh, ammunition from your from your stock. But I'm gonna figure that out as I go, like what works. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much the big thing. So the next step with this with these slash attacks really is to just do the animation and calibrate them a little bit more. Uh, sometimes I feel like the uh, attack doesn't land when it should, so I might increase the hitbox on it a little bit. But overall, it's pretty good. And then yes, the uh, enemy does take damage and die from the gun as well. This B actually is programmed to follow you. But it feels good. Uh, I think what I'm really uh, aiming towards in the, uh, in the short term here is to try to get some sort of very, very basic, like maybe like 
couple couple of rooms of, of like a demo stage just to just to let people try the controls out and make sure they like how they feel. Uh, if we hop over to Ace Bright here, I can show you the uh, the shooting animations that that I worked on. So that was the basic uh, grounded animation for the shoot, and these are these are uh, pretty simple animations. It's just three frames, but they tried to get a lot of mileage out of those frames. All the projectiles are going to be blue. I kind of went with just like a blue uh, light glow on there. So I'm kind of locked into using blue since that's what I used on the sprite. There's probably a way. There's probably a way to get creative and use like a uh, like a like a uh, a mask or like a color uh, a color effector in the sprite renderer. Like if I were to render that uh, that blue highlight out as its own sprite and overlay it, I could probably change the color, but uh, not really necessary. I, I like the way the blue looks. <clears throat> and there's the shoot down. So yeah, it's really crazy when you think about it. Like, like you just gotta do. You want to add shooting, like basic four directional shooting, and then you realize you have to come up with several different separate animations and animation states for that to work. So speaking of animation states, you can see these are all the animator states for Nixie so far, and there will probably be a ton more. So these are the shooting animations, uh, just the four of them. I'm gonna need at least two more. And then, an, and actually, probably three more because I need to be able to shoot off of the ladder, which I'm working on the ladders currently. Um, but, yeah, same thing for the attacks. I mean, attacking in all the directions, you need a separate animation for all those. So, like, it adds up really quick how many different animations you have and triggering the animations at different times based on different states. So, like, you, you could, you'd really spend a lot of time writing a lot of logic just to handle, like, the, the animation stuff. It's, it's kind of knew that going in, but now that I've really dive deep into it it's like it's it, it's overwhelming it can get a little overwhelming of like how many states you got to deal with all right as i mentioned i'm still working on the ladders uh there's a couple little bugs but they are mostly working actually so being able to grab onto the ladders jump off the ladders jump onto the ladders uh get all the way down and walk off the ladder get to the top of the ladder and uh, collide with the platform and then go back down is all pretty much working there's a couple of bugs dealing with uh, right now jumping underneath the ladder I can't jump through it so I gotta fix that uh, and a couple little things but uh, you can dash off of the ladder you can attack while you're on the ladder uh, as, as I mentioned I need to make a shooting animation for while on the ladder so it just uses the regular standard uh, grounded animation right now so I need to do that I would need a separate attack animation for the while on the ladder so more animations to make but what else is new? So that's what's been keeping me busy for the month of September. Uh, I know a lot of these things are kind of super basic, uh, but these are core gameplay mechanics that I've sort of glossed over and pushed off and not really focused on until now. So uh, you know, definitely time for me to like get those working before I build a whole world around those mechanics. And as always, if you like the video, uh, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow the development of Nixie, check out NixieGame.com, follow me on Twitter, uh, join the Nixie Discord, whatever floats your boat, we'd love to have you. So uh, I'm signing off for now, but uh, hopefully it won't be more than another month before I do the next devlog, and uh, stay tuned.